Hey guys, um, I haven't been on in a long time. I've made a lot of videos and they never got uploaded. So I am eight months and about one week post-op from the vertical sleeve gastrectomy. Had my surgery May 28, 2013. And I am 108 pounds down. Uh, the last, so since I've hit Wonderland, and I know I made a video, and it's probably one of the last videos I made, um, it's just been really hard to get the weight down. Uh, part of it's been holidays, so holidays is really hard. Um, I'm definitely not losing, like, my 10 pounds a month anymore. I'm getting, I'm close, but not quite. Um, I, so, yeah, holidays... And then the other thing that kind of tripped me up a little bit was uh, I got sick right before Christmas and I got sick just like a, so I'm just getting kind of over the cold. I had it for about two weeks um, into January. So it really sucked because I, you know, I, I try to work out five to six days a week and when I'm sick, I don't work out or I can't work out as much, especially like in the beginning when it's really bad. Um, and then I don't work out on my period sometimes, but I'm on a birth control and, uh, it should be stopping my periods for the most part. A little TMI. Sorry, I forgot to put that warning out there ahead of time. Um, yeah, so I am 172 pounds. I know that I made a video that I haven't uploaded that I may just go ahead and upload because it kind of gives a little bit of an update of what's going on that I'm not going to cover in this video. Uh, I was 181 pounds, I think, then, so, <clears throat> and that was right when I was at, like, seven months post-op, so, as you can tell, it's, it's slowing down. Um, I am starting to weight train, well, kind of like the strength train to, to help my arms out. Well, right here, they don't look bad, but take this off, and... This is kind of helping actually hold it in. Um, my arms, my tummy are all areas that I'm worried that I may have to start looking into plastic surgery because they're not pretty. And I would love to get my boobs lifted. I mean, they did go up a cup size, but that doesn't help with the skin. So I'm just going to really try to work out hard to really try to see if I can make you know, put muscle on right here, but then also tighten up the skin, um, you know, work the chest area to see if I can help lift things kind of naturally just through weight training, uh, stomach, same thing, kind of really work on the core muscles, see if that helps that. Um, I probably wouldn't look into getting any kind of surgery for two years, and I do have to figure that one out anyways, because I do want to have kids at some point. I am 26. Um, so I'd hate to get surgery at 28 and then decide at 30 I'm going to have a child, um, especially if I got, like, a tummy tuck. So, you know, if anything, I may just, like, look at getting my arms done, and then, um, maybe after I get to the point in my life that I have kids, get the tummy done. Uh, if it's bad. I'm hoping that with a lot of hard work at the gym, it won't be bad. Um... So, I guess some other stuff that's up with me. I am dating someone. He is in the arm, well, he's in the military. And I have no idea how to date a military guy. To be completely honest with you, I have absolutely no idea. Um, I think it's, it's going to be really hard. Uh, he's been gone for two weeks now at field training. And he gets back like next week. But. He's going to be gone to, like, another training. Well, he's supposed to go to field after that again. He's supposed to be back for, like, a few days and then go again. And then, um, that's changed. Now he's going to another training in another state for, like, eight weeks. And then he comes back for a few weeks. And he's gone for another month. And then he comes back for a few... Well, I think he'll be back for, like, a month or two. And then he gets deployed. So... I don't really know how to be in a relationship with someone that's never going to be there. Um, so I don't know if anyone has any advice for that. Um, I don't know. I'm figuring it out. I would say it's fun It's fun when he's here, but it kind of sucks when he's not. And he's not going to be here a lot. 
Um, but I am an independent woman, so... Sorry, my nose is starting to run. So I'll figure it out. I'm really focusing on... I kind of said this a lot in my videos. I'm really focusing on myself. Um, just really trying to get to that final weight and then really just try to work on my body to get it healthy and, um, you know, to a really good point. I am just doing liquids today and tomorrow. So it's kind of a five-day pouch test. Uh, I know it's a diet and we shouldn't be doing fads, but it really is for me to cut out the carbs and sugar. Um, since the holidays, I've had a lot of sugar and I really want to cut that out. <clears throat> so that's really what I'm aiming for. It's not necessarily, it is to kind of help the scale a little bit, but it's mostly to restart, get the carbs out, get sugar out, and then just incorporate kind of the whole foods, the healthy stuff again. And just really make sure that nothing's in my house that's going to tempt me. Um, and then the good thing is that the guy that I am dating, he's really into fitness. So he's going to show me a ton of stuff that is great for my body, like for toning. Um, he's also, like, when we eat, like, he only eats basically protein and veggies. So um, he's very health conscious as well. And he's super fit. So uh, and that's... A huge positive for when we're together and you know I know that he's doing that when he's away from me as well um, so I'm doing the same so that's what's up with me I will try to actually upload this if you have any suggestions for me for what I'm currently doing or on how to date a military guy please leave them thank you